Welcome back to another edition of Plays of the Week. We start at number 10 with two hits in one inning from Nicole Iannarone. She helped set up the eight-run inning with a single off the pitcher, then capped it off with a three-run double. At number 9 is Jason Mertz, dishing out five assists, one short of his own school record, in the men's across game at Washington. At number 8, with baseball up 3-0, but her sign is threatening with runners on 2nd and 3rd, Kurt Johnson makes this diving catch. At 7, Stephanie Umbach wins the draw and shows off her moves on her way to a goal against Haverford, and the women's lacrosse all-time scoring record. Courtney Simon doubled her pleasure to get play number 6. Her RBI double drove in the go-ahead run against Haverford, and her leadoff double led to the winning run against McDaniel. More on that later. At number five, the McDaniel third baseman knocks down Nick Plinio's line drive and tries to tag Nick Kennedy, but Kennedy avoids the tag, setting the stage for a four-run inning. At number four, Centennial Conference Player of the Week Casey Armstrong scored six goals to help women's lacrosse to a 19-10 win at Haverford. She also scored six against Washington. At three, softball's first home game ended with a walk-off win as this Amelia Shelley ground ball scored Courtney Simon for a 1-0 defeat of McDaniel. March wins bring April honors for Daniel Eidman. He shot 70 to take first place at the Alvernia Spring Invitational and number two on our countdown. And at number one, if you have one shot, make the most of it. That's what Jordan Rosenthal did at the Muhlenberg Invitational. With his heavily taped elbow, he threw the javelin 197 feet, 11 inches, the eighth best mark in Division Three this season. Thanks for watching Plays of the Week. See you next week.